A beginner golfer struggles with striking the ball cleanly or more solid or controlling the middle. I obviously work with a lot of different demographics of golfers. If I have a beginner golfer, like I like to use spectrums here. On the other side of the spectrum, we have long drive. So you look at the guys that swing exceedingly fast. If a player does not move their pressure in a golf swing and or moves their center of mass, it will reduce the ability for them to create force. Okay, it just is what it is. However, because not everybody's a long drive player or Bryson DeChambeau or people with a lot of speed, it's very important that a player stays more centered. And that's one of the big like caveats here because it's not a, a one size fits all situation. It depends on what you're bringing to the table. So if you can't control the middle of the face, which is really like the number one thing that you have to be doing, then it might be a good idea to reduce the amount of lateral pressure movement. But if I'm dealing with a long drive player who may have leakage of power, those players need to produce a bigger horizontal force. So when you start looking at the longest hitters, even Rory McIlroy, Rory McIlroy moves to the right in his backswing before the club even moves. So where is the start of his swing? Well, the start of his swing might actually be centered, but he moves a little left and then a little right to create momentum, which increases his dynamic force in his body in order to create more leverage and more speed. I'm obviously not Rory McIlroy, but if you wanted to be, that would be one of the things or caveats that he does in order to create force. But you have to be skilled enough in order to manage that. For the regular player, you might not want to do that, but it significantly helps if you want to create excessive ball speed.